All right, man, we're here at Ken's house. Knock on the door, see where he's at. Seems like he's ready to go with his truck here. Uh, he's got all his swarm stuff happening. Ooh, there's another one. His truck is even sticky. It's like got honey beat. Honey's all over. Honey's all over it. He's got dogs. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Now you want me to follow you? No, come with me. Come. This is not as exciting as like a swarm that's all out in the open. This is right. in a box. So we're gonna uh, check it out tomorrow. But today okay. we're gonna take up the tree and maybe we'll take a peek tonight, we'll see. All right, cool. I got the smoke going a little bit here. I know, I smelled it. I looked over here and then I got like a little bit of like honey on me. Ooh, nice. And that's to help me kind of get discombobulated. We'll, we'll talk on the way there what smoke does. All right, cool. Cool. So we're gonna talk about what smoke does? Yeah. Okay. With this smoke, this fire, right? Smoke does two things. What does it do? First thing it does, in the wild, if there's a tree, there's a bunch of bees in it, and there's a fire coming, smoke. Right. What the bees do is they like, they go inside their combs, and they'll start sucking down a whole bunch of honey. So the tree starts uh, going on fire, the bees go leave and start a new home. So basically they're taking all the food out of the refrigerator. Okay. And leaving, or just some of it. So they can start right, so they can start over again. Yeah, so what that does, now all the bees got their little butts, we'll see it tomorrow and I'll show you. Their butts sticking up in the air where their heads are down inside the cell right. sucking honey out. So they're not paying attention to you. Second thing, bees talk with pheromones. So okay. if you're a big bear or you hurt them or whatever, do something bad to them, one bee you say, hey, this big bear or there's a Rory mm -hmm. being not nice, I'm going to sting them and I'm going to tell everybody else I stung them by using pheromones. Okay. So when you use the smoke, they can't talk. Okay. So you can beat them up. They don't care. They don't know. Well, they, they know. Okay. The, the one beat up knows. Right. But he can't tell anybody because uh, of smoke. It's not going to be much action. Usually, Rory, I will um, just stick a piece of grass in the opening and, and um, take them off the tree. Mm -hmm. Tonight, I'm going to do just a little smoke just, just so you, you're a little bit safer. But. And we we'll, um, we'll open up real quick to see what it looks like inside. So if you look over in the woods right here, there's a box right there. See oh yeah, 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 yeah. There she is. There's the swarm box. You wanna hold the smoker? Sure. <laughs> look at that. I'm freaking smoking, baby. You put that to the right height for the ladder. How about that, huh? How did that happen? I don't know. There's a couple in there. Couple? Yeah. Okay. So that smoke does it right away. Oh yeah. Cool. The wall tools. Just drop them. And this video is not sponsored by DeWalt. Aww. That box looks a little beat up, huh? Was it? That box looks a little beat up. Yeah. Last that, is pack. it heavy like they, it has a uh, lot in it? 15 pounds. 15 pounds of bees? Uh, total. Whoa. Cool. We'll take a look inside. Right, right here. Let's see if there's any bees inside. I hear something. Ooh. Ooh. 
There they are. Yeah. Cool. So this goes back up. You don't even want to go into it at nighttime. No. It's time to the, the crabby. Okay. Yeah, you want to do it during daytime when, when it's um nice and sunny out and they're right. flying. They're out of it's kind of a lot of them are out and of plus, there. Plus two of this. You want to feel the weight of this? Let me take this and you want to feel the weight. Yeah. Let me uh you can see where you're pointing. And now we can show you like a So that's all bees? Bees and just, I mean just yeah. the weight of the box. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean yeah, considering. Just probably probably we'll see tomorrow, but I'm guessing three or four thousand bees. Yeah. Maybe four thousand bees. Really? Yeah. That many? Yeah. Three or four thousand? <laughs> yeah. Wow, it is a guy. There's one. That's cool. Let's see. And so he's just he kind nice, of checking he, it out. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's nice. Okay. That's cool. So let's go put this in the spot. Okay. What we got over here, Rory? This is a this is the overwintered hive right here. What is that now? An overwintered hive made it through the winter. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's doing pretty good. This is a swamp hive from that we're going to tomorrow. That's in, it's huge. It's already got a honey super on it. Mm -hmm. Making honey. This is a swarm I caught uh, just last week. Awesome. And I put it into this box after, you know. You put them in the better box. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's got it's vented. And... Right. Don't bounce it too much. Yeah, it's like 20. Yeah, 20 pounds. Nice. <laughs> Not tomorrow morning, they'll just come out and this will be their new home. So that's it, you just set them down yeah. and they're they're there. That's it, you moved. And now they're so, comfortable so, so because... Now, so now what I'll do is I'll get a nice high box and I'll put this to the side. I'll put a high box right here and I'll just transfer all the bees over. Okay. So tell me, will those bees there get along with those bees? They don't care. They don't care, why? So what you could do is, is bees are allowed to go into somebody else's house if they bring food. Oh, okay. They're not allowed to leave with food. I see. Okay, anybody go in for the most part with with food. Right. If you go in without food, eh, yeah. probably not. Not you good. try to leave with, with their food. Then no way. No good. No good. <laughs> but so, and you have uh, drifting bees too. Like the bees will, you know, they'll lose their way and they'll just go find a hive and they'll, they'll find some food, pollen, and mm -hmm. fill up and go into hive and the hive will accept and now they got a new home to live in. Right. You know, so All right. hives on the end, these will drift more to the end. Like these bees here will, will drift more to here, you know, from from middle to the end. So. Mm. Okay. So if you have cool. four hives, they're all like the same strength mm -hmm. by the end of the season or different points in the season, yeah. the end ones will have more bees in it. Oh, no kidding. Because other ones will they'll lose their way. Right, right, right. Go to that one. Okay. For the most part, they know where they're going. Yeah.